Hey guys, uh, I'm just out uh, doing some uh, work on the property here and the mail came so I figured I'd do a, a quick uh, package opening for you. It's not really an unboxing, it's kind of in a bag. So, uh, camera died on me a second ago so we're gonna try it again, hopefully it works. Pardon the sun, um, we just kind of happen to be outside so this is where we're at. Um, but, we'll get into it. Um, I got a package from Alpha Defense Gear which is, uh, they do like those uh, kind of balaclavas that have the, the kind of faces on them and stuff so um, I can't even remember which ones I got to be honest um, hasn't been that long ago but uh, it was just kind of an on the whim kind of thing that I that I uh, ordered them so we'll open them up and see I did uh, cut this open when the camera died but I haven't uh, actually pulled anything out yet so uh, we'll see what happens here here we go so um, I'll just kind of get them out and then we'll open one or two of them um, this one uh, looks like it's a uh, like a mossy oak. Let's see, I'll just pull them out. This one's a brown one. I got some some I was thinking uh, for hunting. This one I think has a skull on it or something. It's a black one. We'll probably open that one up. Um, this one is a uh, looks like the firefighter one, and this one looks like hunter orange. So let's open the skull one and see how it is. Uh, the idea behind this uh, for me, and I don't know if it'll work, but uh, was just to have something to maybe keep the wind off my face when I'm hunting or or uh, on my motorcycle or something. But uh, you know, I didn't probably need five. I probably won't use five, but uh, they were here, so I, I grabbed them. So um, it's basically just a, a sleeve of fabric. It looks like it appears to have. Oh, it does have a seam here. Um, no, it's not a seam. It looks like it's not, there's no seams to it. Um, we'll see how how you go about getting this thing on. I'm guessing you just go over the head. It doesn't really stretch all that much, which I'm kind of surprised because I thought it would. You have to bear with me because I can't actually see what I'm doing. But I think, I think this is the idea. Let's see, let's see if it's straight here. Yeah, something like that. So, kind of interesting. Um, it feels like they'll actually be kind of warm, but you know, to be honest, um, they kinda, they're kind of awkward. Uh, that's not gonna stay just around my face and ears uh, for very long, I can tell that already. So, I'll probably, Yeah, this is, this is definitely awkward. <laughs> Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, I don't know. I mean, this is, this is in place, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's gonna stay there as I move. It feels like it's just gonna slide down kind of off the back of my head here. So, uh, man. Um, the print on them is not super bold, uh, it looks, it looked a lot more bold in the uh, online there. So, I mean, there's a reason I guess these are so cheap. Normally, they sell them. Their regular price is $20, um, but uh, they always have these deals on them. Um, I think I got five for 15 bucks or something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm not so sure that I'm sold on these. Let's try. Uh, let's just try the mossy oak one. We'll see. You know, it might might work uh, well for like a neck gaiter kind of thing. Um, I just have my beater cold steel knife that I'm opening them with. But uh, so here's the mossy oak one. Same fabric. It's pretty thin. Um, I guess they make some that are uh, a little thicker. Let's see how this one works. Just try going right over the head. So. See if we can do kind of the balaclava look. Yeah, that's just real awkward. I mean, it keeps my ears warm, warmer, I guess. But man, that just seems pretty awkward. And then you can't really, you can't just pull it up over your face too. It kind of 
doesn't work that well. So uh, you probably need two of them if you're going to do that. So uh, anyway, uh, just a quick video. Um, I mean, I guess I'll try to try these out. They they do feel pretty thin and pretty cheap, um, but uh, it might just be enough to keep the wind off of you or keep your face just a little bit warmer. But uh, time will tell. Um, they're not, like I said, they're not super bold uh, print, so they're kind of a kind of a faded print. That's not a seam. That's like a crease. But uh... all right, I thought I'd give you a, a close-up view of these real quick since uh, in the other one I was outside. So uh, these are the five that I purchased uh, of the face shields from Alpha Defense Gear. Um, again, uh, you know, I can't I can't really recommend them at this time. I mean, they're they were fifteen dollars for five, so three bucks a piece, and at that price, you know, it's not too bad. They're basically a tube of fabric. I would have liked to see these be a little bit stretchier. I think that's where the problem lies. And then you'll see the top kind of has started curling, which you know that's not a big deal. It'd just be nice if um, if when you kind of pulled it up, it would kind of stretch a little more so it conform better to your head. Um, and then the other thing I feel like is uh, when it's up around my face, I feel like it's slipping off the back of my head. So uh, anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you these real quick. Um, again, they're like $3 a piece if you get them on sale. At the $20 price point, I definitely would not recommend purchasing them. Um, however, at the $3 price point, you know, you can be the judge. Um, I will not likely be purchasing more. Uh, unless I can find maybe another company or something that does them in a bit of a stretchier fabric, that would be kind of nice. So, anyway, there they are. Thanks for watching, guys.